Hello there, it's Josh from Harmony at Music Academy and this lesson's all about learning the song Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran. Let's get straight stuck into it. The song is comprised of pretty much just two different things. A melody which is pretty much synth based and also the progression which is the same throughout the whole song. So first of all, let's dive in with the progression. What you want to do is get a capo on the second fret of your guitar and then all your chords are, are A minor, C and an F chord. A minor, C and an F. Or you could do the simpler version of an F. I prefer the fuller sound of the bad version of the F. The final chord, the F chord, is twice the length of the other two chords. So if I put it with a strum pattern, and I'm quite simply just going to go down, picking on all of the chords, and I'm going to mute them as well. And it pretty much just repeats the whole way through with that progression as it's a very bass and electronic heavy song. On the bass, there is also a build up note at the end of the F as well, a G note, but it's so short that it's not worth doing. So on the song, it does actually go. and then back in. However, so short, not worth doing. Now let's get stuck in with the melody. I have made the melody slightly easier than what it is in the songs. I've made it more of a two guitar sort of thing. The melody is based around the chords. So the first part of the melody comprises of having this A minor shape here. And I basically swap my second finger to where my third finger is and I only use these three strings. I pick the B string, pick the G, pick the B, pick the high E string and then the very last note of the first part of it, take your first finger off and play the B string. In total there you have the second part, take all of your fingers off and pick the same sequence, B string, G string, B string, high E string and then the only difference here is on the end instead of picking the B you pick the G string and you hit the second fret. All together on that part you have. And if you put it with the part before. And then the final part is based around this kind of F7. F major seven shape. You pick the G string, then you pick the D string, then you pick the G again, then you pick the B string with your finger off, sorry. Then you pick the G again, and then you pick because it's a doubled up chord, you pick the G again, then you pick the D string, then you pick the G, then you pick the B string, and then you put this first finger down here and pick it again. So in total there, and the frets I'm on are the third fret here on the D string, the second fret on the G string, open on the B string, however that very last note is the first fret on the B string. In total on that you have So 
So if I put all of those together, you have Now if you speed it up closer to the speed of the song, you have this in total. And that's the synth melody. If you wanted to as well, you could play the melody and mix it in with the chords in your own way as well. Kind of classical style along the lines of that sort of thing. And that's pretty much the song in a nutshell. The chords remain the same throughout. There's some little dropouts on the, on the guitar, on the instruments for a very brief bar, and then it comes back in, but it doesn't add any extra chords in. In terms of strum pattern, you can literally play whatever feels best for you. I really like the feel of within the verse doing just like a muted down picking, like a... And then on the chorus, um, kind of doing a bit more of an offbeat vibe. Really accenting those up picks, up strokes on the offbeat. But whatever works best for you, you could literally do a down, down, up, down, up pattern, whatever you want, and it'll, it'll work with the progression. Make the song your own. Let me know how you got on with the lesson. Let me know if there's any parts of it that you're struggling with or anything more you want me to elaborate on in the comments below. And also let me know if there's any songs in particular that you're struggling with and that you want to learn, you want us to do a lesson on. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in another lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video.